Hello, my name is Foster. I am a junior at Lincoln Southeast High School, and the title of this poem is The Calendar of Grief. My grandma had the most beautiful of handwriting. She would mark the days on her calendar, every birthday and appointment with a cursive that flowed with the beauty of her younger days. They say when you experience depression, time doesn't flow like a calendar. Instead, it flows in spurts and waves forward and backwards until nothing really makes sense anymore and you're left alone with nothing but the blurred cursive on the calendar. September 16th, 2014, a Tuesday. Nine days before my birthday, two days before my grandpa's. Grandpa, who always smiled and said hello to every one of his grandchildren every time he saw them, no matter how much it hurt. And on September 16th, I learned that my grandpa wasn't strong enough. August 30th of that same year at 310 in the afternoon, I learned through the barely contained tears of my father that grandma died. Grandma, who is taller than anyone I've ever seen at five foot three, grandma, who is still blossoming at the young age of 72, grandma, who still volunteered at the local elementary school because she never really wanted to give up teaching, grandma, died. I had never cried so hard as I did that first night without her. I had never cried so hard as I did the next morning when I woke up from my, co from my coma brought on by five sleeping pills when the first four couldn't stop the nightmares. And I remembered that the first time in 17 years she wasn't going to be there to call me on my birthday and sing to me over the phone even if she only lived two houses down. And she was never going to be able to make good on her promise to kiss me on the forehead when I graduated, even if it meant climbing on the tables to do so. September 3rd, 2014, five days without grandma's smile. We held her funeral. Her little Lutheran church couldn't contain all the people whose lives she had changed. It was the first time in 17 years that I didn't sing along to the hymns because I couldn't find the room to breathe between my tears. And so I sat there. The funeral home told us that we weren't allowed to bury her with anything else in the casket, but we still stuck in a can of beer and M&Ms because those were her favorite things aside from music and her family. September 15th, 2014, a Monday. The first day in 57 years and my grandpa spends alone without anyone to say I love you to within his earshot. It's the first day in 57 years he's left alone without the woman he started a fling with in 1957 that never really stopped. The first day in 57 years, there's no one to play him Christmas tunes on the piano in September. There's no one to just sit there on the patio and watch birds. It's the first day in 57 years that my grandpa didn't have his wife. September 16th, 2014, a Tuesday. Nine days before I turned 17, two days before he turned 78, 28 days without my grandma's laughter. I walk the 100 foot stretch between my house and his. I see him sitting there in his favorite chair at the head of the kitchen table. And for the first time in 17 years, he doesn't say hello to me. Yeah.